What up everybody, it's your boy Young Fizz and welcome back to another video. Today we are back inside of the machine and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly gain stage inside of the machine. So without further ado, I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on the bell notification so when I drop a new video, you are the first one to be notified. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video, how to properly gain stage inside a machine. This is gonna be rather quick and easy to do. So a lot of times we'll get samples from producers, from the internet, um, and then their, their sounds are just, they, they go crazy, they go hard, hard hitting drums, right? As you can see here, it's already clipping. I got my kick, snare, got my hi-hat. So let me go ahead and hit switch over to the mixing window here. I'm just gonna hit tab on my keyboard here, and that's gonna take me right over to the mixing window. And I like to have everything just engaged so I can see machine in its entirety. But today we're gonna be focusing on the sampler section here, which is where our samples are stored. So this kick, when I'm, I'm pressing it really hard, and as you can see, it's, it's definitely going past zero. That's something that we don't want. And the reason why we don't want it to go past zero is that when we load a plugin, it's gonna be clipping the plugin right away. It's gonna be, the threshold's gonna be at zero. And that's not what we want. We wanna give it some headroom. All right, so I have turned on the fixed velocity and I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my window here. And it's gonna go to zone and as I hit the pad, just, right now you see how it's at 6.6 .6 here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the pad, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag the gain down until it's around maybe like negative 10, negative six. And then we can just double click this to reset it. So it's at negative 13. I think that's good enough there. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the snare. Click the pad, hit zone, come down to gain here. Turn that down. So it's kind of like mixing before you even, you know, before you even start producing. It's just setting your level, really. Same thing, we're gonna go ahead and hit zone. Turn down the gain. Like my hi-hat's down there somewhere. Check it out where it's at. That's fine. So you're probably asking yourself, why am I adjusting the gain down here instead of right here? Well, this here is exactly what this is. This is the gain. This here is just levels. These are these are faders. These are fader, faders for your level. This is basically pre-fader. So this is before it hits this fader here. So we can go back and adjust the volume if it's too low, too quiet. We can adjust it here. All right, so now we have everything properly gain stage. All right, so now we can go ahead and switch over and we can make our beat here. Make a little trap beat real quick. Turn it up there to maybe like 140. And let's see what we have here. Turn on my, all right, so I'm gonna turn on my tempo to 140. So my tempo's at 140, and we're gonna go ahead and record a little trap pattern here. Now let's add in the hi-hat. Turn on my note repeat. All right, so now we're playing it back. So the levels look good, it's not clipping. So now we can go ahead and kind of mix this here. And if we want to make it louder, we just simply add a compressor for get level consistency here. I like to turn the knee all the way down.
So it should be sounding somewhat like that there. And then, like I said, when we hit the master, about the time we hit the master and we put, put in like a compressor again. And then we put in our limiter. We're going to have it nice and loud. And that's just one of the tricks into gain staging inside a machine. So I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as turn on the bell notifications. And also be sure to hit that like button to help me out a little bit. Thank you for tuning in. It's your boy Young Fizz and we will see you next time.